Welcome back to the K Monet Life. It's me, K Monet, and in this video, I am going to be doing a review and demo of the 100% natural calcium bentonite clay also known as the Indian Healing Clay. Now the one that I'm using is the most popular one is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay and I got this huge container um, from Amazon for $14. You can get it everywhere. So let me open it up to show you what it looks like. It's basically just a green powder. So when you're using this bentonite clay, you want to make sure that you're using a plastic spoon and bowl to mix the clay because the clay will react with the metal bowl or spoon and draw out the metals, making the mass less effective and it just won't do what it's supposed to do because of the metal. So I use this plastic bowl for all of my mass, get it from the Dollar Tree. I also like to use this brush because I kind of feel like I'm at the spa, you know, but you can use your hands. So here I'm going to go ahead and get to mixing. Now in this video, I used entirely too much. All you need is one spoonful. This right here, that's all you need. That will do you for one mass. But here I go putting an extra spoonful in there. I don't know why. Now, after you have put your clay in your bowl the next thing you're going to need is apple cider vinegar and you're going to use equal parts of the apple cider vinegar now if you can't stand the smell of apple cider vinegar you can use water but it's going to be less effective so i would suggest going with the vinegar it's not that bad it doesn't smell like peaches but you know you could deal with it so what I do is I take the clay and I mix it into the vinegar. What I'm trying to do is just make a paste. Now the consistency that you want to get it to, in my opinion, is kind of like the consistency of toothpaste. You don't want it to be thin because of course you don't want it to slide off your face, but you want it to have some type of thickness to it. Now not too thick, but just good enough to make a paste. Now when i do it i just go ahead and i mix 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 but i'm not gonna make you watch this whole mixing process let's just get to the end this is how it looks after i've taken out all the lumps and just smash it with the back of the spoon you just want to make sure that it's smooth so i'm going to show you what it looks like it should be able to fall off the spoon but not be too thin do you see that that's what you want now when you're applying the mask, I encourage just a thin layer of the mask. I'm going to show you what happens when you put it on thick later on. But in my opinion, that first layer is what actually penetrates the skin anyway. Now this mask is going to take out all that oil, all the toxins, all the dirt, all that yucky stuff that gets into our skin. And if you wear makeup, this is definitely a mask that you want to do at least once a week. If you have sen sensitive skin, um, once every two weeks. Now, when it starts getting hard, it will tighten on the skin. Do not get alarmed. It's just stimulating the skin. And that right there just improves. Um, improves your blood circulation so that's what you want so don't get alarmed if your skin starts getting tight um, and if you have acne this mask also helps to lift those pimples get those blackheads it also helps with acne scars too so I'm just like wow what doesn't this stuff do now if you have dry skin the bentonite clay also um, works as a moisturizer and helps to soften the skin and every time I do this mask afterwards my face feels rejuvenated refreshed I mean tight and days after I can still feel the effects of this mask so I encourage everybody to at least try it once and once you do it you'll be hooked I wish you guys could see in a magnified mirror how cracked this is, but you see all the cracking? It is getting extremely hard. Um, I usually go up into my lip line, but this time I didn't do that, so I'm able to do a lot more talking. But look how cracked it is. But I also want to show you over here, I went extremely thick. And when you do that, 
it takes it a while for it to crack because it's so thick. So that's why I say go in um, with a thin layer because this area is still wet. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give it about five more minutes and then I'm going to go ahead and take it off. So at this point, my face felt refreshed, tight, so clean. So after I have done the mask, I add my favorite moisturizer and I just rub that into my skin and give myself like a little massage. Um, I strongly recommend trying the bentonite clay. I promise you, once you try it, you will be hooked. And it's all natural and it makes your skin feel great. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have not yet subscribed to K Monet, I don't know what you're waiting for. And if you are in the family already, thank you so much. And as always, I have to ask you this question. Why be quiet? Live your life out loud.